Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to create some menu panel through which we can add our some menu. In my previous video, I have shown you the panel for menu add. You can see in this, I have displayed menu list and add section. I am going to do the same thing for sub menu. I am going to create a section for sub menu add and another section for sub menu list. So let's quickly move to code. Let me start by creating a file for sub menu add. Let me add the link for sub menu in menu file menu add.php so next I need the same look as menu so just copy the main structure like till HR so after that I'm going to to copy the right section that is menu add one and change the heading to sub menu so firstly I need menu so change the first input as I need select box for main menu under which menu this sub menu is going to display so include the database file and after that fetch the menu list from the database from menu table and display the menu list as option while passing menu ID as value and displaying menu name as text. Next input that I need is some menu name. After that, I need is URL. So just copy and URL is going to be a text field. So just change the name that is submenu underscore URL and change the placeholder also so after that we need a sub menu display this field is for that you want to display the menu or not so that's going to be a selectable with option yes or no so first option is going to be yes with value yes and second option is no with value no and let's move to our last field that is menu order so let me start a for loop and that for loop is going to start from 0 to 10 and display the variable that is i as the value of the option and as the text of the option and change last that is input submit type and to some menu submit and change the button name also that is add some menu so let's move to browser and check the sub menu panel. So if you will click on setting and click on add sub menu, so there you can see it will is redirected to another page that is sub menu add. And there are five fields in sub menu add panel as you can see. Let me show you the table for sub menu. It's having the same fields that I have taken so there are two extra fields first one is sub menu ID that is auto increment and status that is by default enable 
So let's save the submenu and database. So for that, create a file name submenu at db.php. And in that, first thing is to include the database file. And after that, check for input type that is submit is it or not so inside that if fetch all the fields of the form so we will be fetching all the fields in post so first one is menu id so get in post second one is menu name third field is menu url and fourth field is submenu display and last is submenu order so let's fetch we have fetched all the fields now at last let me check if menu name is not blank then only our insert query will run otherwise it will not So let's get the insert query from the database. In the submenu table, click on insert and get the insert query. Remove the submenu ID and status from the query and copy that and let's paste that into our file. So first one in the query is menu ID. So pass the value of the menu ID in query Similarly, pass all the other attributes value that is menu name, after that URL, next is display and last one is order. And execute the query using MySQLi query. And at last, alert that your submenu is added and redirect to submenu add.php so let's move to browser and add submenu so right now let's choose the menu that is category and write the name that is category list and URL is category list.php and I want to display that so choose yes and at last it's zero and submit that and you can see in the submenu table our data is entered. So now last step is left that is submenu list. So let's go and display that. So copy the table from the menu list and paste that. So let's change the table header. So first one is going to be serial number. Second one is going to submenu name. Third one is URL. Uh, second one is going to be menu name. And third one is name. Fourth one is URL and fifth column is going to be display or order whatever so let's move to query fetch the data from table submenu and join the table with menu with like we are going to join on menu id as we have menu id in submenu table and from that we are just selecting the menu name and from men submenu table we are selecting all the columns so for that write star and for menu table write menu dot menu name So let me change the row variable. So first one is going to be submenu ID. Second one is going to be menu name. Third one is 
going to be menu name, some menu name. Fourth one is going to be menu URL. And last one is going to be menu auto. So let's check it in browser. There you can see a menu is displayed. Menu name is category and some menu name is category list. So in this video, I have shown you how you can add a sub menu panel. So in the upcoming video, I'll be showing you how you can display your first one that is menu and second one is that is sub menu as drop down inside your main menu. So let's see in the next tutorial. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.